Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak, most of us have had to adjust our daily schedules somehow, which means a lot of us are stuck at home. However, that doesn't mean that it has to be boring. So basically I've compiled a list of 10 things that you can do in quarantine to keep busy, to keep productive, and to just make the most out of the situation. Okay, so the first thing you can obviously do is bake or cook whatever you want. So for me personally, I found this super delicious recipe for skinny banana bread, which is like healthier. Baking is like a great skill to pick up while you're stuck at home in quarantine. And cleaning up the kitchen takes a while too, so I'm just doing that right here. So another thing you can do is clean or tidy up your room. So chances are that your room is probably really messy right now, but cleaning has its great perks. It helps your body get moving around and it adds a little productivity in your day. Okay, so because all the libraries are closed, I've just been rereading old books that I have. So here I am rereading The Fall in Our Stars. The last time I read this, I was actually in grade seven, so I don't remember what happens, but 10 out of 10 recommend reading. If you're into that kind of stuff, it's a great way to pass the time. Okay, number five, practice an instrument. This one's pretty self-explanatory. We all probably have that piano or ukulele or guitar or whatever that has been sitting in our room for a while just collecting dust. So while you're stuck at home, you might as well practice a little bit. It's a great way to be off the screen and it's another skill that you can gain, so why not? Here's me practicing for Elise. And of course, we can't ignore the fact that we have a bunch of homework that we need to do. So for me personally, um, I'm in university and our classes were going to finish up anyways. So our semester is just pretty much done. This is me being like super productive and working on a bunch of assignments and catching up on homework and studying for exams that I got due. So another good way to pass your time rather than going on TikTok. I highly recommend fitting in some form of physical activity into your day. So find like a mat and a space to work out in. Or if you're lucky enough and you have some equipment like a treadmill or a bike, you can use that. So that's me running and <laughs> doing, getting some cardio in. So being at home 24 seven now means that our screen time has shot up significantly and our physical activity levels have dra like drastically decreased, which is not good for our mental health. So it's super important to get your body moving. And if you don't have any equipment at home, that doesn't mean you can't work out. What I like to do is I just put on a video like Chloe Ting or Mad Fit or X Hit Daily and I just follow along to their workouts and I do exercises that use my body weight. Those are also super good and they get you out of breath. They get you moving. They get your heart rate racing. It's a good time, honestly. So even before this whole coronavirus outbreak, I love to coordinate cute outfits just like on nights before school and stuff like that. You just like basically dig into your closet and you find what goes cute together, what does, doesn't. Ugh. You can try it on. You can have a little photo shoot in your room, take some cute Instagram pictures, you know, stuff like that. And I actually ended up pairing this together, which I was like, ooh, that, that's bomb. You can have a little spa day in your room, treat yourself, self-care, stuff like that. So here I am in my room just catching up on some YouTube videos. I'm watching Olivia Messler, love her, having a good time. Last but definitely not least, just spend time with your family, you know. So here I am watching Independence Day with my family. I was cold, that's why I had a blanket. It's a great way to bond and you're going to be stuck together for like months now anyway, so why not? <laughs> hey guys, okay, so I didn't film an outro because I never do, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching if you actually made it all the way to the end. Um, hopefully it gives you some ideas on things that you can do in quarantine. So no excuses for saying that you're bored now, okay? Thanks again for watching. Um, stay home and stay safe. Peace.